A violent weekend for the capital city. Seven people shot since Friday, one of them dying. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us for Fox 16 News at 530. I'm Donna Terrell. I'm Kevin Kelly. Among the victims are two 17-year-olds. Katrin Asaf live this evening at LRPD headquarters with what we know so far and how neighbors are reacting to the news. Katrin. <laughs> Well, Kevin, Donna, we're told that really this all revolves around a large party on Roosevelt Road, a huge gathering that police say resulted in a shots fired call just after 1 a.m. on Sunday. Those that live there say that they heard what sounded like a volley of gunshots, and they're just tired of the constant violence. It's like nothing ever happened. This parking lot now sits empty. No sign of it ever being used. But those that live here. It's crazy that it, that it even has come to that. Remember everything. We heard a bunch of gunshots, a bunch of cars taking off, and a bunch of screaming and hollering. And this thing, I know they said that somebody had got shot. Michael Sims leans up against his sister's boutique, next door to the scene of what neighbors say was a massive party. It all ended Sunday morning in a hail of gunfire, with cars riddled with bullet holes and two teenagers bleeding out in the hospital. All that gunfire should have never been heard in this in this little area. Sim says he's used to the sound of gunshots, but doesn't want to be. It brings a sadness to me, you know, that this happens right here where we at every day. With two 17-year-olds, the latest victims, he's ready to see some change. We got a lot of kids and a lot of old people growing up, I mean, around here, man, and all these stray bullets and gunfire, it's just, uh, it really needs to quit. And is prepared to take a stand. So the next time this parking lot is full, it's with people and not bullets. Let's try to start doing something because these are our children out here. Now a woman leaving the scene did notice that her car had actually been shot up too. That's when police were initially called for that shots fired call. Now no one was injured in that incident, but of course you do have those two teenagers who were brought to the hospital. Now police are still investigating this incident and they're still searching for suspects. Of course, we'll continue to keep you updated. Reporting at LRPD HQ, Katrin Asaf, back to you.